Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today we will proceed chapter 1 which is Del or Nabla operator. Okay, in this lesson you will learn about gradient, directional derivative, unit normal vector, divergence and curl of vector. Alright, this is the symbol for uh, del or nabla operator. Okay, where it pointed downward. Okay, not like this. This is not del, this is uh, increment. So, what is uh, del actually? This del operator is called vector differential operator and defined as this vector. Alright, del is a vector. Or we can write del equal to okay, in the form of bracket okay, partial derivative of uh, x partial derivative with respect to y and uh, partial derivative with respect to z so del cannot stand for itself because del is an operator uh, just like plus or minus okay Okay, before we proceed, let's look at the definition of scalar function and also vector function. Scalar function is a function that has scalar value. Okay, for example, uh, this f, for example, this f function, okay, it has scalar value. For example, at point 1, 2, 3, okay, we can substitute uh, x equal to 1, y equal to 2, and z equal to 3. In this function, then we get scalar. Okay, scalar answer. But for vector function, it is a function that has vector value. For example, this capital F here. Alright, you can see that we have um, vector, vector, unit vector i, j, and also k. Okay, so this F is vector function. When, for example, at point 1, 2, 3, when you substitute 1, 2, 3 into this vector function, you will get vector. Okay, tail operator can be used to find gradient, divergence of vector, and also curl of vector. So, when tail multiply with some scalar function f, so f is scalar, we can get gradient. A gradient can be write as grad f. Alright. For divergence of vector, we can simplify it as like this. Okay. We can get divergence of vector when del dot product with vector function. So f is vector. And you can get curl of vector when del cross product with vector. So f is vector. And gradient can be used to find directional derivatives and unit normal vector. Okay, let's look at the definition of gradient. Okay, gradient represents the slope or rate of change of a function. In vector calculus, gradient of scalar function is a vector field that points in the direction of greatest rate of change. Okay, let's see, we have this scalar field. Okay, this is scalar field F. Okay, this is F. Field of scalar function. Then, when F multiply with del you can get gradient okay let's say in this field this is the area that has the greatest rate of change so this gradient gradient is the vector remember vector that points to the area that has greatest rate of change okay let's look at this example Let's say we have a room in which uh, the temperature is given by scalar field T. F, okay, F is scalar function, equal to T. T is the temperature. At 
each point in the room, the gradient of T is represented by vectors that points to the area where the temperature rise most quickly or decrease most rapidly. So these keywords represent the gradient. Okay, look at this row. It say this red area represent the greatest rate of change. So the blue arrow represent the gradient. Okay, to calculate gradient of f, where f is, is the scalar function, okay, you multiply f, so f with del. So del f equal to okay partial derivative of f to x partial derivative of x f to y and partial derivative of f to z so you differentiate f with respect to x here and then uh, differentiate f to y then differentiate f to z okay let's look at example one if f given by this scalar function determine grad f so grad is the gradient gradient f or del f so we want to find del f del f equal to del uh, partial derivative of f to x to y and to z We have f equal to so del f over del x equal to differentiate f with respect to x then we we'll get okay differentiate x square we we'll get 2x the rest copy back okay plus a differentiate x we we'll get 1 so y square z square differentiate f to y then we have y here so differentiate y we get 1 so copy x square and z power of 3 plus this one we get 2 x y z square okay, differentiate f to z okay look here differentiate x, uh, z power of 3 we get 3 z power of 2 the rest copy back x square y okay, plus this one is z square so 2 z x y square so del f equal to 2 x y z power of 3 plus okay copy the answer at p 1 3 2 so x equal to 1 y equal to 3 and z equal to 2 okay, substitute the points in in del f so del f equal to okay, substitute all get 34 32 and 72 okay so for this example let's say we have this field field of f this is f inside this box and then at this point p say p 1 3 2 the direction of the greatest rate of change follow this vector af okay follow this vector okay okay gradient of f can be used to determine directional derivative okay let's say we have scalar function f okay and we have point p here given a vector a okay vector a here so using these values we can determine whether the gradient to this direction 
is increasing or decreasing. So if DAF positive, then it has increasing rate of change. Okay, if negative, we have decreasing rate of change to this direction A. Okay, look at the definition. So, this is the formula for directional derivative. We have so DAF equal to equal to unit vector of A. That's why we put head dot with del F. And this unit vector can be calculated by using this formula. If directional derivative of F is positive, like I said before, the rate of, the rate of change is increasing. But if the values is negative, then the rate of change is decreasing. Look at example 2. Compute the directional derivative of P. So, P is the scalar function. At the point 1, 2, negative 1 in the direction of vector A. So we have this field, phi, and then we have point 1, 2, negative 1, and to the direction of A. Okay, we want to determine this direction is in decreasing or increasing a gradient. Okay, this is the formula to find directional derivative. So unit vector of A, this A. Okay, we want you must find its unit vector, and then dot product. This is dot product with uh, del V. Okay, first you find del V. Differentiate del with respect to x uh, and respect to y, and also z. Then after that, okay, substitute this point. So, x equal to 1, y equal to 2, and z equal to negative 1. Substitute in here. Then, you will get, then we'll get this answer. Then, substitute gradient of v in this formula. This is the unit vector of a. Okay. Where unit vector of a equal to a vector of a divided by its magnitude. Alright, then you dot product with gradient of V. And then, okay, the final answer is 51 over square root 29. So, directional derivative is positive. Okay, then the rate of change to direction A is increasing. Okay, for example 3, given a function F, okay, F is a scalar function. What is the direction along with F decrease most rapidly? So, look at this key point here. Decrease most rapidly. In, so, we want to find gradient of F at this point. At point 3, 2. And you must put negative here because the gradient is decreasing. Okay, you can look at the answer. For question 2, find a direction u such that uh, u dot product with gradient f will get 5. So, you can see that this is the formula for directional derivative. So u dot product with del f, then u is unit vector. Okay, first find del of f in this point. So first you must find del f. After after that substitute this point into the equation. 
Then so for directional derivative u dot gradient f. So this is u dot pro, dot product with uh, del f. Then we get five. So we got this equation first equation. Okay. After that, okay, since u is unit vector, then magnitude of u equal to one. So you can get the second equation. Then solve. Uh, the uh, then solve both equations to find values for a and also b. Okay, using this uh, step, then we'll get this answer. Okay, another application for del f or gradient is unit normal vector. Okay. Okay, the normal vector is a vector which is perpendicular to the surface or orthogonal to the surface. This is the normal vector. And on a closed surface, the normal vector will be always outward pointing norm normal. So, outward. Eh? So, you, uh, we can find unit vector normal using this formula. Okay, del S divided by its magnitude. Okay, S can be any scalar function or surface. Okay, calculate the unit normal vector at this point for this function. First, we want to find unit normal vector. So, unit normal vector... N hat equal to a S over its magnitude. So, first you must find what is S. S here is the scalar function. So, S you can denote S 2YZ plus XZ plus XY. So, del S equal to Remember, del, you will get vector. So, differentiate S with respect to X, respect to Y, and with respect to Z. So, you will get Z at negative 1, 1, 1. Okay, substitute in your S. 2, 1 plus negative 1 2, 1 minus 1 get 2, 1, 1 ok so the unit normal equal to 2, 1, 1 divide by its magnitude so 2 square plus 1 square plus 1 square equal to over square root 6 so ok so this is the unit normal vector ok you can do this exercise 1 and refer to the answer here